flag everywhere today. Can't see in front of our faces. Great shame seeing it's our last one, but nothing we can do about it. Yesterday, I was in shirt sleeves getting a suntan, and today, I'm like this. And it's, it's no fun, I can tell you. It's uh, just a little bit claggy. Dave was very disappointed that his final three Wainwrights were completed in Clagg. He was determined to do it again, and this time getting the views that so many people had told him were available from the summits. Keeping with the fat boy tradition of never doing the same walk twice, we did it this time reverse of what we did before. And these fells were a first for Chris. Now starting to feel a few more aches and pains, Dave is very glad that we are starting on the outlying fells. However, it soon became apparent that Dave can still manage to bash up these higher fells, even though now and again he does get a bit knackered. There are many routes up to Coniston Old Man, but we particularly like this one because of the wonderful old slate and copper mine works. There's Dave coming up and Grim doing the old man of Coniston. Absolutely fantastic. What a privilege and an honour to be with these two guys. Excellent. We always enjoy it when we're lucky enough to be able to walk during the weekdays. It enables us to enjoy places like this lovely low water in peace and tranquility.
have to admit, as we approached the summit of Coniston Old Man, tears did well up in my eyes, and though he won't admit it, I know Dave was affected the same way, with the realisation that after so many attempts, we were finally going to get the view that we had both desired. As we often hear from our friends in the mountain rescue team, a lot of people climb the fells of the Lake District very unprepared for emergencies, and we had one today. Poor Dave, as he came down from Coniston Old Man, took a tumble, cutting his hands very badly indeed. Fortunately, we have first aid kits always with us, and we heavily bandaged his hands, and in typical trooper fashion, Dave was determined to carry on with the walk after a large cup of his favoured black tea, of course. As Chris and I watched in awe, it didn't take long for Dave to get over the shock of the fall and get back to his scrambling best. He just simply shrugged it off and said, I've had worse.
The views from here, looking back towards Brimfell and the mighty Coniston Old Man, were truly breathtaking. It was now time to get in two Burkitts and an outlying fell. As we continued our descent, we were all mesmerised by the view of Coniston Water. As we finally drop to the coal on Warnerscar Road, we can see our final quarry in sight. Having now, at last, completed his goal of revisiting his final three Wainwrights in good weather, Dave now bids farewell to the high summits of Lakeland. Dave, along with the rest of the Fat Boys, will now be concentrating on the outlying fells. For us, this walk ends along the two-mile stretch of the Warnerscar Road back to the car park.